Admit it, you definitely want to build that sweet jetpack and upgrade your power to nuclear. Then you're going to need uranium. And looting chests and wrecks will, is only going to take you so far, especially if you have to make the rods and you need nine pieces of uranium to make one rod. You're going to need a mine. And I got just the spot for you. We're going to be using this rock formation right here as our fixed starting point. It's right on the ridge between the dry lake bed where just about everybody spawns and the big valley right here. You will need enough resources to build yourself a living compartment and a living compartment door. You're going to need three iron, two titanium, and one silicone for this. I do highly suggest that you bring a bottle of water and an oxygen capsule. Now, it's pretty easy to get to. However, it's a good distance away, so just be prepared. With our back to the rock formation, you can actually see that structure right in front of us. We're going to turn to the right, and we're going to see these gray stones right in front of us and this cliff right over here on the right. We're going to go right to the gray stones, keeping as much to the right of those cliffs as we can. As you come into these rocks, this whole area is just dark. It's just part of the biome, I think. Just keep going. You're going to go through these arches right here. Go right through these arches. We're going to stop here and make sure we put down a living compartment and a living compartment door so that we can refill our oxygen. Now that's done. We're going to go ahead and break it down. We're going to continue going forward. As you come out, you're going to see these weird rock formations that look like big stone pillars right here. They're all leaning away from you slightly. And what we're looking for is the one farthest to the left. This one right here. There's no others on the other side of it, on the left of it. It's the farthest to the left. We're going right to that one. As we get to the stone pillar, we're gonna move past it. You're gonna see how the rock face gives way to what looks like a pathway right in front of us. That's where we wanna go. We wanna go that way. I actually threw a beacon here just to help me find it better. You may wanna do that as well. We're gonna start walking right in here. It looks like it comes to a dead end, but it doesn't. Just keep going all the way to the end. As you can see, it opens up on our left, so we're just going to follow it to the left. Opens up to our, on our right, just follow it all the way through, and eventually you'll get through the stone. Now, right in front of us, what we want to do is just head right to that cliff face. Just head straight across to that cliff face. Once you hit the cliff face, just turn to the right, follow it, keep your eyes to the left, it'll open up. You guys can already see. Here is the uranium mine. Once all the surface uranium has been taken, it will not respawn. What you want to do is put some ore extractors in here, but the tier one ore extractor will not work, guys. You're going to need to put a tier two ore extractor in here in order to mine uranium. If you found the guide useful or helpful in any way, consider hitting that like button. And if you have your own tips or tricks that can help newer players, guys, leave those down in the comments. Let's all benefit from it and do this as a community.